Hey everyone, welcome to, I guess, this is the Nintendo Prime Podcast, I suppose. Here's the thing, this isn't really episode one of the Rebooted Podcast, because this is like the pre-episode, the preamble, a pre-discussion uh, leading into the first Nintendo Direct we have had in 531 days. I am... Of course, Mr. Nintendo Prime, Nathaniel Ruffle Jance. And for those of you who probably don't know because it's been so long, to my left and your guys' is right, probably, I have no idea, is Mr. Eric Moore. You guys still don't know who he is. It's yeah. okay. He, he's one of my best friends. He's been with the channel uh, and this podcast from the very beginning. Uh, and we decided to kind of reboot things a little bit. So welcome to our new set. Yeah. Hopefully you like it. It's not fully complete there's a few more changes we gotta get some more sound panels extend yeah. some yeah. things out a little bit sadly uh, mario is not gonna be here anymore yeah mario goodbye and i don't know if you guys can see a little bit over there there's some other stuff that'll be goodbye uh we got the tv now in the middle uh it's mostly just kind of the logo but when we have a guest on uh it's possible that eric and i will just scoot over a little bit and then we'll have the guest appear on the tv that'll be really really cool I might try to make it work where like literally i don't have to do any post editing they'll just be on the screen but let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> it's I, the podcast. I have something, a really, I have a really long HDMI cable, podcast. but let's not get ahead of ourselves on that actually happening. Um, still, uh, it's going to be pretty laid back. We're going to be talking a lot of video game stuff. Mostly Nintendo today is obviously, uh, we're just talking a little direct predictions, direct discussion. Um, and I guess the first thing to really start off with is how shocked are you that we're getting a Nintendo Direct when it's been 531 days? Uh, shocked enough to message you this morning that, hey, did you see this? Yeah. And so, I, I don't know, I, I'm excited. Well, did you think they were done with directs? There's been like a, an ongoing thing that, while we've gotten individual game directs, we've gotten the Sakurai Presents for Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. We've gotten even like partner showcase directs. We had a Nintendo Direct Mini like back in April. And before that, we had the big Nintendo Direct on September 4th of 2019. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, but, like, with COVID and everything, and, you know, as an example, Paper Mario, they just dropped it. They didn't do a special event for it. They just threw it out on Twitter, and then it went on to be the best-selling Paper Mario ever. <laughs> you had Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity just yeah. dropped it out of nowhere yeah. and became the best-selling mm-hmm. entry in literally the entire warriors franchise and then you got to consider okay what about pikmin 3 deluxe they sent pikmin 3 deluxe out to die it's now the best-selling pikmin game of all time so like clearly nintendo proved they don't need directs and i think that is what led to people thinking well they don't need them so why why would they do it anymore and because the direct name kept being drugged through the mud connected to partner showcases. Then they did, like, a Super Nintendo World, which is their theme park, mm-hmm. and they called that a Nintendo Direct. And we're like... What is a Direct? We're anymore? like, okay, so we're getting a Direct about a theme park in Japan that most of us can't attend because we can't even travel outside the country, let alone in the country. I I get that it's cool, and eventually we'll be able to go, and they yeah. are going to make one down in Universal, but uh, down in Florida and stuff, and I think even out in Cali. But it's just... Okay, what the hell even is a Nintendo Direct anymore? And now here we go. Yeah. It's February. Like, it's coming on the 7th, February 17th, 4 p.m. Central Time. And I literally, for the first time in 531 days, am planning a Nintendo Direct stream, an hour-long pre-show. And the funny thing is, my pre-show is pretty much as long as the actual Direct. That's crazy. 50 minutes. Let's put this in perspective, folks. This is a 50-minute Direct. They have not had our Direct go 50 minutes or longer since before the Nintendo Switch came out, and it was the Direct to hype up the Switch into launch. Okay? So it was the big Direct that had Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 2, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. That entire first year was in that Direct, and that was the one that was 50-plus minutes. Before that, they literally have never had our Direct go over 50 minutes or even hit 50 minutes. Now, they have had a couple E3 Mm-hmm. Like they don't they don't always call them directs, but digital shows sometimes yeah. go over forty minutes. But they've never had it hit fifty. And now here we are, five hundred thirty one days later, and we have a fifty minute direct. Yeah, that's nuts. Ah, uh, now to clarify, in case you know you guys didn't read the fine print, it does say. Part of the Direct, we'll be, sh- we'll, we'll be talking about new stuff for currently released games, and they talked about Smash Bros. as an example. Okay. 
So let's another, start there. Let's start DC there. Content pack. Let's start there. This isn't all that's going to be in the direct, but let's start there. Okay. My thought process is there's three games they're going to add new content to. Mm-hmm. Smash, they mentioned it. Okay. We're probably getting a character reveal. Yeah. Um, I guess we can start there. Like, what what character do you want revealed? Oh God. I know my my biggest. We got banjo. Yeah, no, we, we got, got banjo. banjo. So yeah. not now and now you actually have to think. You can't I just... mean, conquer, but that's never going to happen. Well, we thought that with banjo though. It, yeah, true. But so how, I, mean, how, I mean, is it really never going to happen? I, I think there's more games out there that'll probably be, you know, picked before that. Maybe. Yeah. Um, one game I think in particular that might get picked, and this would be interesting because he actually was in PlayStation All Stars, the PlayStation version of Smash that <laughs> totally everyone played, right? Yeah. Um, Crash Bandicoot. Ah, yes. yes because yeah. we are getting yeah. Crash Bandicoot yes. four. And we mm-hmm. did get the Insane Trilogy and Crash Team Racing. We're, we got all of that on Switch. Clearly, you know, Crash... The thing with Crash, where people have doubted it, is because there was a time that that was viewed as the PlayStation mascot. The thing is, it was never official. PlayStation never owned Crash Bandicoot. It was mm-hmm. always Activision. Mm-hmm. But it was only on PlayStation systems at the time. Mm-hmm. Now it's on everything, so it's like, you know, could Crash be kind of sneaking its way in as a historical could, figure? Could. You know, obviously yeah. people always want Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Right. Um, yeah. You know, those are just some popular ones. Conquer doesn't even get brought up that much. I don't think people think it's realistic, but I don't right. really care. I don't care no, how no, realistic that's what it I is. Want, but... I want, if I can get a character that pisses on another character, oh, I'll yeah, take for it. sure. I'll take <laughs> it. I'll take it. And you can have, like, his final smash, be like the bears coming in with the machetes. and no, no, or a oh, frying pan. Frying pan, yeah, frying pan, yeah. You know, you know, or piss on a guy in a urinal. I don't yeah, know. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean the thing the is, toilet. it's a little inappropriate, but then yeah. again, it's, it's a T-plus rated game, so I, great, you could do it. Have the Great Mighty Poo. The Great Mighty Poo. Swallow them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's all, so many great things they could do for it, but uh, I think we all agree there's going to be a Smash character reveal. Um, and Sakurai himself retweeted and kind of teased, <laughs> There's going to be some Smash news tomorrow. Eh. He was laughing at himself. Yeah. He's like, well, yeah, yeah duh. Right. He knows what it is. It's already well, recorded. Right. Um, right. Beyond that, I think Animal Crossing. All right, some we've been getting free characters. updates. Yeah. We've been getting free updates for a while. But they've done DLC for things like New Leaf. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're in New Horizons. We're going to be approximately a year out from when it launched. It is the most popular game in Animal Crossing history, by far, it's not even close, and it might even, by the end of this fiscal year, be the best-selling game on Switch. Mm-hmm. Feels okay. like when they say we're going to talk about new content for games that already exist yeah. on the platform, Animal Crossing better. has to be in there. Yeah, literally, Animal Crossing was the best-selling game on Switch in January, and January was the leading platform on pretty much every country it's in in January for sales. True. So, if Animal Crossing almost a year out is still the leading game selling, then okay, they got to put DLC out, right? Right. Um, you know, we, we figured they would do this for games like Mario Odyssey in the past, and they, yeah. and they didn't do it. But yeah. Animal Crossing is different because they have a history of actually releasing DLC for that. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. another game that I think it just makes too much sense, and there's a history for Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. Ah, they have nice. had twenty dollars DLC packs in the past for Hyrule Warriors and yep. for Fire Emblem Warriors. All the DLC packs have been jam packed with content, and pretty much every Warrior game, except for maybe in the very beginning, have had it. And by the way, we are not sponsored by Diet okay. Pepsi Cherry Coke. Actually, you know what? I just call it Diet Pepsi Cherry Coke. Yeah, it is what it is. Not a sponsor today. I just need a little caffeine kick, and I feel guilty if I drink it alone. So, drink, drink it. Thank you, sir. All right. So, that is kind of my thought process that we're going to get Age of Calamity DLC, Animal Crossing DLC. And a Smash character. We know we're getting something Smash. The only thing they ever seem to reveal are characters. Mm-hmm. Um, so, right. do you think there's any any other game you can think of that maybe they could be talking about? I mean, it doesn't always just have to be Nintendo First Party, too. You know, any games that have come out in, like, say, the last year that you're like, you know, maybe they could do some DLC for that. God, I, I've been so out of gaming for since we've basically stopped the podcast. Yeah, pretty much, guys. It's, the podcast died, and yeah, he died with I, it. <laughs> I have had... Paper some Mario of, last year. I mean, yeah, that could I, be that could that could definitely get some uh, some uh, d- DLC stuff like that. Um, goodness, man, I'm not prepared for this. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. You, like this is this is the interesting part here is that I think this is going to be the part that people are least interested in this direct. Right. 
Not because the, the DLC is not going to sell incredibly well, but because, hey, look, these are the kind of announcements you kind of just threw out on Twitter. We're actually, when we're talking Big Boy Directs, we're waiting for the new content, right? Right. That's, no, no, for sure. And this is kind of where I have an idea of what might be happening. This would be a very, very crazy theory, but I'll save it for a little while. Okay, Let's okay. Let's start talking about the new stuff. stuff. New stuff? Yeah. Okay, so the other thing they confirmed is going to be in this Direct is updates on um, all the games in the first half of this year. So that would be from January, which has already passed, all the way through June. Now, we already know some games. Okay, We know Bravely Default 2. That's the next game coming out. Uh, then we have Monster Hunter Rise next month. Mm-hmm. And then we have New Pokemon Snap the month after that. Now, what's interesting is we've already got a lot of information on all three of these games. Pokemon Snap, they could actually skip out on talking about because next week is the celebration of Pokemon's 25th anniversary. Yeah, yeah. So Pokemon Company is going to have a whole bunch Probably of Pokemon stuff to talk about, and they could yeah. talk about it then. They could also talk about a new Pokemon game that is, is supposedly going to be coming out this year. Do you think then, it's in the Let's Go line, or is it in the normal line? I don't know if it's in either. Okay, interesting. So Ooh. I want it to be Let's Ooh. Go, but I think it's just going to be like a traditional remake maybe, or a I new, don't know. A new TC game? Ooh, new, new trading, trading card, card game. game. I don't know. Because their board game did just win Game of the, uh, yeah, of the Year. I know. So, I know. Their trading card board game did. Yeah. So, so it's very well possible. Want to we'll elaborate on that story? I, I actually just, I just read that. I just saw the headline. Just saw the headline? I didn't, I didn't actually yeah, so, po- it, so, po- so Pokemon had, had a new board game style aspect to their trading card game, and it won like Board Game of the Year or something like yeah. that. Toy of, tra- the tra- toy, of the toy of the year, yeah. I think it's toy of the so year like from something. I don't that's, remember. I mean, proving that the trading card game is not just there for collectors to make lots of money. It's actually fun to play, yeah. um, and that's what I thought as a kid, and I still think that today. Um, I don't, the rules have probably changed a little bit. Oh, I'd, I'd have to check, but uh, still part of the same basic concept. Yeah. Take out the other guys' Pokemon. Right, right. But um, I could go for a new trading card game. Well, yeah. yeah. New trading card. We're talking about the video game stuff. I guess remember the old Game Boy trading card game? That's what we're talking about. Like a new one of those. Probably I'll get a new Pokemon Snap. I think anything's possible. Yeah. yeah. I mean. I mean, I know we still haven't got a new stadium slash Coliseum. Ooh, but, that, would be mean, another, that would be another good one. That they another have. just ghost drop. Yeah. Um, but again, that's Pokemon 25th anniversary. I don't think yeah. any of that's going to be here. New Pokemon Snap potentially, but I kind of think Pokemon Company is doing their own thing. Right. They traditionally aren't in Nintendo Direct, so we might not see Pokemon Snap. Mm-hmm. We're going to see something on Monster Hunter Rise, and we're going to see something on Bravely Default 2. Both those games have had public demos. I don't know how much more we need to see of them to sell mm-hmm. them, mm-hmm. but they're going to be mentioned. They're gonna, yeah, they're going to be mentioned a minute or two. The Crash Probably Bandicoot things. game was was recently announced, but we haven't seen footage of it yet on right. Switch. That'll I think I think we'll see, see that. Uh, beyond that, I mean, they could choose to show off anything they want, but I think at that point, you're leading into games we don't know about. Right now, we don't know about any major Switch mm-hmm. game in April or June. Mm-hmm. So that leaves potentially two major games they could slot in there, and these are Nintendo Directs. Normal, regular, full-blown Nintendo Directs, no subtitles, no whatever, just called Nintendo <laughs> Direct. Always say, we're going to talk about games in this period. And then they end up teasing games that yes. are outside of that period every yes. single time. And that's one reason we get so hyped for it. Because <laughs> we know they're going to talk about games that are going to be not just in the first six months. Because that's what they always do. And it's 50 freaking minutes long. Mm-hmm. Now, this is something people are afraid of. Every time Smash Bros. gets like a new character announcement, it takes yeah. like 25 minutes. No, oh, for sure. Yeah. Is, do, you think, do you think half of this direct is the Smash Bros. character? I hope not. See, my hope is that they always have a Sakurai Presents show after they reveal a character, and I'm hoping they'd yeah. be like, here's five minutes, quick yep. look, boom, Sakurai Presents happening later today. Right. Just yeah. leave it at that. No, for or sure. happening after the direct or something. Or yeah, directly after the direct. Uh, direct. Like, just, yeah. please, Nintendo, announce the yeah. character. It is yeah, worthy sure. of being on a direct, but like... Don't dedicate a massive part of the direct to something we've already been getting consistently over yeah, the last year. That's sure. I think that's more of a, yes, put it in the direct, but don't make a majority of the direct about it. And that's my one fear is that a majority of the direct will be about a, one individual game. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, for sure. And I don't want that to happen. Unless, and this is where we get into new content. Yes. Okay? There's a lot of potential for new stuff here because... A lot of things happening right now. Eric, you have some thoughts here, an idea, something percolating. Why don't you share it with everyone here? I don't even know what it is. Huh. So, there's, what, three things that could possibly happen? That could theoretically possibly happen. We talk about the Switch Pro. Okay. We, it is possible. 
We can't dismiss we it. We mentioned this. We show it off a little bit, which then goes straight into... They have to release that soon, though, if they're showing that off, right? You'd figure. Because they're going to nerf sales of Switch the moment they show it off, so they have to release it soon. Like March. Right. March 3rd? Yeah. I mean, Anniversary of Switch release? Right. Anyways, yeah. go on. So there's that, which then goes into... By the way, I don't actually think they're going to do it, but it's yeah. possible. Yeah. Can't dismiss it. We have no right. idea. Right. I have no this inside is, information. This so. is why I get all. I'm, I'm all. It's all like. like uh, no, I'm just all hyper speculative. Ooh, and, it's okay. That's what. That's, that's what this is, is about. That's how we normally go. We normally We're, go big and go home. But this is how. But, it's how we do it. This yes. is the speculation. Right. Pre podcast. Right. So, which then leads me to some sort of anniversary edition for Legend of Zelda. Okay. And then from there, we get. Do we get Mario Odyssey two? Or some sort of... So, my thought is... Some sort of Mario game? Are we more likely to get Mario Odyssey 2 or Mario Kart oh, 9? Oh, yes. Good call. Because technically, uh, we can count Home Circuit live. That's fine. But that's not Mario Kart 9. Right. No, no, it's not. We technically have not had a mainline Mario Kart game that's brand new to Switch yet. Yes. And, and people are like, but you can't. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is doing so well. Well, yeah. about that, Shintura Furukawa came out, and maybe he's lying out his teeth, I don't know. But he says Nintendo thinks the Switch is only just entering the halfway point of its life. That means we have another yeah. four years minimum of Switch, whether they extend it with Switch Pro, whatever they do. Four right. years minimum, perfect time then to get Mario Kart 9. you got a four-year runway with that. Then. Yeah. For sure. And then right into... Right when right Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is about to lose the sales lead... To Mario to, Kart X. To, to uh, no, to, to Animal Crossing. Yeah. It's okay. It can lose the sales lead because, actually, we got Mario Kart 9, and that's going to yeah, right. instantly sell 15 right. million, and we don't got to worry right. about it. No, no, no. Which then leads into Mario Kart X for the next... <laughs> oh, next the gen. next gen. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Okay. Yeah. Because, of course, they can't just say 10. So, I so think the, the if... Mario Kart X. So, the ideas you brought up, I think both of them are interesting because we talked about how maybe... A large section of the podcast could be about one thing. If it's Switch Pro, that would be like 20 minutes, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. I doubt it's like, oh, here's here's a new improved Switch. Go buy it in two weeks, right. and we're not no, going to no, say anything else sure. about it. Like, no, it'll be like a 20-minute presentation on that. Mm -hmm. Or you mentioned Zelda's anniversary. Yeah. So the 35th anniversary happens on the 21st. So what happens okay. four days after this Direct is technically the 35th anniversary okay. of Zelda. Yep. Um, if they mention Zelda's 35th in this Direct... They could potentially make half the direct just about that. That's true. I mean, because look at what they did for Mario's thirty fifth. Yeah, they had a huge presentation for that. For sure, they could literally make half the direct. Look, it's Zelda's thirty fifth anniversary. We got three D Zelda All Stars yep. or whatever they decide yep. to call it or whatever they do for a collection. If they do a collection, we got Zelda thirty five where we're racing through dungeons instead of racing through levels like in Mario. You know, we yep. have. Uh, whatever else they decided to throw. I have no idea. It's all the Dungeon Maker. They decided to throw that one out there. Instead of making it yep. like a small part. Because remember, game. in Link's Awakening, they, they tested out a Dungeon yeah. Maker, and it worked really well. Imagine making it into a full-blown game. Oh, yeah. That, one's that could be too. a thing. Yeah. Obviously, the big yeah. thing floating out there, Breath of the, the Wild, too. For sure. Um, and that's that one of those things that's like, is that happening? Too. Is that happening in the first half of the year? In or like Summer? really should we be looking at it as like that's the game they end the show with and it says coming in 2021 maybe uh, yeah. you know that's it, it, yeah <sighs> but the thing is is do you do you take the first because I would see them starting out I don't know if I necessarily see them ending with uh, you think they kick it off with Breath of the Wild just with, say, with Zelda just say screw it we're getting first Zelda out of the way Zelda? now we're just yeah. now like, boom, opening, Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, done. Out of the way, Absolutely. no more worrying, are we getting That'd Breath of the Wild 2? Just do it right away. That would be huge. Just set the expectations yeah. high and then just see if you can live up to it the rest of the time. I mean, I don't, here's the thing. If they start with Breath of the Wild 2, which Nintendo's done this before. They started with a massive game at the beginning of a Direct. And it's been 531 days. So, I mean, them, start, start the, them, them starting big wouldn't even be surprising. Yeah. If they start with that. Then what the hell are they capping the show? What's that? Oh, we have one more thing, and it's just this big, mind-blowing thing you didn't see coming. Metroid 4? Ooh. See, Metroid, Metroid's 4? not as big as Zelda, but Pikmin 4? they do treat it. Pikmin 4. I don't know if Pikmin 4... Pikmin 4, if you, I don't know if that would be... I mean, God, remember, we're talking Breath of the Wild 2, 20 million seller. Yeah. Uh, I mean... Mario so, something is the only thing I can think of. Anything Mario. Mario Odyssey 2. That's, yeah, that, yeah. Or do they shock the world? 
and go... Do they end it with the Switch Pro? No, no. Mario Galaxy 3. Ooh, I like Just that idea. out I of like nowhere. That. I like Oh, that everyone's idea. all mad we're not getting Galaxy 2. It's because it's being packaged in with Galaxy 3. There you go. No, everyone's like, oh, we're getting an Odyssey 2 someday. But what if it's really a Galaxy 3 we're getting? We're going back to Galaxy days. Maybe. Maybe. I, I mean, I'm just hoping because Mario Galaxy on, on 3D All-Stars looks so good in HD. Like, I really want a game re- built for Switch Up. Yeah. Um, it here's the thing, we're gonna get something Zelda. I just have a feeling. Yeah. I don't know if they're gonna say 35th anniversary. I hope they do. Maybe they'll just say, "Look, here's a trailer for whatever." You, we know you want to see Breath of the Wild too. Here it is. But guess what? We have more announcements on a direct next week for the 35th anniversary. Maybe. And they yeah. can do a Zelda yeah. only no, for sure. thing then, and then yeah. kind of keep a lot of those announcements for then. Yeah. Um, that's always possible as well. Just but so then, they could say, "Pay attention next week for Pokemon." As I was well. just say, but are they gonna compete with Pokemon? I don't know. Would they put it the same week as Pokemon? I have no idea. Do you think it's possible we could have too much news? E- Is it possible? I mean... Like, we been, we didn't have E3, and it felt like we really were missing out. Like, right. there were these and Ubisoft forwards and other events that happened, you know, Summer Game Fest, but it never really felt like we had enough news culminated at one time to right. create, like... Right. Like, an undeniable... I mean, just... Like, Nintendo our- has all the momentum right now. Right. They, like, literally, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are selling out and doing incredible. Mm-hmm. That's fine. 3.5 mil during launch for Xbox, 4.5 for PlayStation 5. Doing fantastic. But also mired in the fact no one can get their hands on them. And currently, anyways, if you guys are honest, there isn't a single killer game for either platform. Now, Ratchet & Clank might be that killer game for PlayStation. And I don't know... What's going to be the medium ended up not being the killer app for Xbox? So is it going to? Are we just waiting for Halo? I don't know. So right now, neither platform has a killer game. Switch has several and is outselling all of them in unit sales, and it has having a hard time to keep staying on the shelf, but is still more plentiful than the rest, and has three major games coming out in the next three months. Right, and has a few more speculated large games coming. And we know Band of the 3s in development. Right. We know Metro Wild 2 we and we know and we know Metro Prime 4. And there's also technically a new No More Heroes in the works as well. Whether or not they consider that big enough to be in this direct, I don't know. But I know there's some people out there that want to hear about the new No More Heroes game. <sighs> there, there's just there's so much to consider um when you were looking at what this could be because Normally, when we head into a direct, if you remember back in the old podcast, the olden days, yeah. we'd always be like, but like, we'll talk, we'll hype, but then we'll like, but temper our expectations. Yeah. Directs I, never live up to the hype. Well, the only sure. time I recall any direct actually living up to the hype I had beforehand was the one that exceeded it, and that's when they dropped Breath of the Wild, the sequel at the end, and I yeah. nearly had a heart attack in the hotel room because right. Right. it just came out and no one expected it. It was like, no, like this is 2019. It's been two years. Yeah, right. No one expected a sequel that quick. Right, for sure. We just wrapped up DLC like a year prior. No one expected to see that. And then all of a sudden, yeah. it wasn't just like a, a title splash like Metro oh, Prime yeah, 4. Yeah, it was yeah. a literal trailer oh, with actual sure. new content. And you're just like, sure. what? Okay. That, and then it was already really, really good up until that point. Then that just poured it over the icing on the cake. The thing is, it's been 531 days by the time this one comes out. Mm-hmm. I just, I think it's okay this one time, 50 minutes, 531 days. Mm-hmm. I think it's okay for all of us to expect the moon. We're all going to be oh, disappointed. Sure. Yeah, wait. We're all getting, just so you know, yeah. like we're talking, think about what we're talking about. We're talking Switch Pro, Breath yeah. of the Wild 2, Odyssey, yeah. Galaxy 3, Mario Kart 9, Pikmin 4, Bayonetta 3, Metro. like we're literally yeah. throwing every game we can think of. Let's get a new F-Zero. Just bring that franchise yeah. back from the dead, right? For sure. Bring the death wheel back. Like, I love like, it. Like just bring everything back. We're getting another Star Tropics now. Suddenly we're getting Mother, <laughs> we're getting Mother 3 ported over after we've been begging for it for yeah. like yeah. our entire lifetime. Holy like cow. we're just going to get everything, right? Yeah. Everything. We're getting Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We're going to get Frick, heck, remember Pandora's yeah. Tower back on Wii? We're getting that. Heck, Wii Sports, they're bringing Wii Sports back, and now we're getting Wii Sports 3. Like, <laughs> GoldenEye. We're getting Wii Sports COVID edition or something. <laughs> Wii Sports COVID. We're getting GoldenEye. They're yeah, going to remake that, that, gold, that GoldenEye leak from XBL, XBLA. Suddenly, hey, guess what? We're getting that remade on Switch because somehow we got all the licensing worked out yeah. out of nowhere. I, even yeah. though Nintendo was the one that blocked it last time. I, yeah. The point is that... We're hyping this thing like it's going to be the greatest direct, the greatest showcase any company has ever put on. Yeah. But honestly, 
I will not say Nintendo owes us this because yeah. they've been giving us games. Even yeah. last year, it ended up being an okay lineup. It wasn't great. If we're honest, Animal Crossing and Age of Calamity aside, it really wasn't a great year. Mm-hmm. Lots of ports. Lots of ports. Pikmin 3. Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. You know, Pikmin 3. I think I already said that one. Yeah. I don't know. There was a lot of ports. And, like, they were good ports. And all of them added a little bit of new content. I think, besides Tokyo Mirage Sessions, I don't think did. But mm-hmm. it's like they added new content. The, the extra content in, uh, in, in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, perfect. The extra content in Pikmin 3, all of our missions, great. But, like... You know, even now, new Super Mario Brothers, uh, or sorry, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. So many day Mario <laughs> titles. Right. Okay, long winded. Yeah. Um, and this Bowser's Fury mode, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I actually was having fun playing it. The it's, it's, it's it's fantastic, but like, none of them are new games. We have no currently known Nintendo created in house games slated to come to Switch anytime soon. Mm-hmm. Zero. Zero. Those three major games coming, not made by Nintendo. Published, not made by. Mm -hmm. We know they're making Breath of the Wild. We know they're making Metroid Prime 4. What else do we really know Nintendo is making? That's it. That's it. We know Retro Studios is making this. Zelda Team is making that. What the hell else is everyone else doing? I don't know. That's what's crazy. Because Nintendo has said nothing for so long, we know nothing. Nothing's leaked out. Like, we have a right to be hyped because Nintendo's teams, even during COVID, had to be doing something this whole time. You, you'd hope. Something! You'd hope. Okay, Smash. That's great. Yeah. Sakurai's been doing content yeah. anyways from home. But what else has been uh, Nintendo... You know, are we, are we talking... Even, even a new Mario Tennis game or a new Mario sports game, Mario Baseball, Mario Strikers. Mm-hmm. You know, something like that. I, it's just something. I know we're talking lots of Mario. Nintendo puts out a lot of Mario right. games. Let's yes, just be honest. Yes, it does. But it could be a new IP. It could be a Kirby game. We get Kirby games yeah. every year. It could be Kirby. A new Yoshi game? New Yoshi game. There you go. Yeah. Like Another, another DK? Donkey Kong. It's its 40th anniversary this year. You want to talk big anniversary? Donkey Kong is the oldest IP Nintendo has. Yeah. Okay? Predates Mario technically because it was originally called Jumpman. Right. So Donkey Kong is Nintendo's oldest IP. 40th anniversary. Feels like they needed to do something. And yeah. you know what's ripe, by the way, for Donkey Kong? They already had Tetris 99. They had Mario 35. DK40. Where you're racing in, in old school Donkey Kong levels. I mean, come on, yep. Nintendo. Yep. It's right there. Yep. Ooh. And it was originally a competitive arcade game anyways. It makes so much sense. I mean, They have even, a DK40. Even a, even a DK level builder. Oh, I my, mean, oh my. That would be awesome. I mean, bring back the DK bongos. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. Let's bongo our way to the top. Yes. Like, there's... It's okay, I think, this one direct to just have our expectations reach to the moon. Because, honestly, Nintendo has to have a lot to give us. I think the worst thing that could happen with this direct... Is they spend half of it... Is... During... Not even half of it. Is is that a majority of it... So let's say 48 minutes of the direct. They have one... Say they have one big announcement. Mm-hmm. I, whatever it is. Maybe it's a Breath yeah. of the Wild 2 trailer. I don't know. Which would be hype for me. Yeah. But let's just say that is the big thing. They throw that at the end. There's your Breath of the Wild 2 trailer coming this year. Okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. I'm happy. But if the rest of the Direct is literally just stuff we already know, like games that have already come out and games we're already aware of, yeah. that is where you're like, why did we have this Direct if you're just what talking about yeah. DLC yeah. and then you're just talking about games that we already have a lot of coverage of and already have release dates for? Right. Like, why are we not talking about what the hell your studios are working on? And then we're going to be like, well, when the... F is the next direct when they have to talk about right. something right. because they have to eventually talk about their own games. Yeah, for sure. So even as much hype as that'd be Breath of the Wild 2 as a capper, it's like, but we already technically know that game exists. Right. No, for sure. Not yeah. Metroid Prime 4. It's Metroid's 35th anniversary this year. Now, I personally don't think we're going to get Metroid Prime 4 this year. It would be cool to see a trailer because yeah. we have not seen the game at all. Yeah. Just to know it's alive. No, it has a heartbeat. Right. But right. things like Metroid Prime Trilogy. That's been rumored to be done for years. Maybe they throw that out in this direct. 
Um, you know, in HD, of course. Uh, there's also been a lot of rumors around Resident Evil and this Outrage game and how it has the same budget as Resident Evil Village and is supposedly a timed exclusive for Switch. Is that unveiled now? Because as far as we're aware, Switch isn't getting Resident Evil Village. Now, Switch did get Resident Evil 7 streaming in Japan. And now we have Control as a streaming game in the U.S. It's possible that we end up do getting Village on Switch and that can be announced but as a streaming game. Um, I don't know how hyped that's going to make people. I think it's better to have it as a streaming game than just not have the game at all. It's always better to have because yeah. there's going to be that person out there that doesn't have any other way to play games and has just happens to have good enough internet to stream it. So um, I always think it's better to have a game than not, even if I don't think yeah. it's a good fit for most people. Like I think if it comes out on Switch as a streaming game, but you literally own any other platform, you should just buy it for that platform. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Unless the streaming version is significantly cheaper, which it's probably not. It's probably going to be the same price as the rest. So, You know, another thing to throw out there. Someone floated this out during, during a live stream earlier. You know, we're both big sports fans. Yeah. What about MLB The Show? They announced it for Xbox, Xbox yeah. which we already knew it was going to be multi-platform. What if the reason it wasn't announced for Switch is because they had, knew it was going to be in the Direct? Now, as a sports fan, yeah. I know a lot of you guys out there are going to be like, who cares? Yeah. Dude, as a sports fan, and MLB The Show is legitimately a great sports game. Yeah. Hasn't been messed up yet. Y- yet. Yet. This will be the one version that does. Oh, the first this, will be, this will be the arcade version. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get some, we can't get a full version. Thought, well, Just like when we got Madden on 3DS, yeah. it had to be some wonky thing. Or on Wii, it had to be some weird family arcade. Yeah. It's like, oh, no. If I want NFL Blitz, just give me NFL Blitz. Right. I, want, right. I, want, I, want, I want simulation football. But right. Anyways. For sure. Madden's got its own issues at times. Oh, for sure. I mean, this, this year's Madden's been the worst Madden in a while. And yeah. that's saying something. <laughs> yeah. I can't get yeah. back to the glory yeah. days. Even, like, when we talk about 2K5. Yeah. Like, also Madden 2005 was also happened to actually be a really good Madden game. Yeah, that o- year, 06, too. Was, 06 was probably the best one. Yeah. When well, they had the training camp. The training the, camp was great. Yeah. It actually felt like it mattered. Like, you could actually improve your kickers, as an example. Right. In today's in today's you literally your kickers pretty much never get better. Yeah. Right. But like then you had a training camp and you could actually do field goal challenges and actually make your kickers better. It was nice. Yeah. Not just that. It was just easy. Like they they did what they what they, what they did play. with Madden is they took training camp and they made it so you can do between game practices. Yeah. So some of the some of the stuff from training camp is now in the practices. It's just not all of it is. And that's I think the problem. They add, they added practices which is fine, and you can improve your players through that, but they didn't make it so you could do everything. You're not targeting quarterback. You're not targeting mm-hmm. wide. You're targeting the whole offense on the whole, the yeah. whole defense on the whole. There's no right. special teams targeting to improve your right. punter and kicker. Right. Um, and, and, you know, and the fact that I can't put these points in awareness. It, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it generally Oh, yeah, they, they, change that, they, change that, they change that attribute thing a long time I can't, ago, yeah. I can't specifically say I still say question if that's a better in, choice in, in Matt. These. But... but yeah, this is this is the chance for. And by the way, there's no way they're announcing Madden. No, <laughs> Madden for Switch. Um, but I I think that it's okay to be hyped for this particular direct, and it's okay to be let down. I think we all should just expect to be let down, but be okay feeling really hyped heading in because oh, for sure. we deserve this. I think the gaming industry deserves this. Nintendo has a chance to show everyone that hey, you had a year to make a digital event better than us, and you failed. Mm-hmm. Here's how you really do it. We made them anticipate for 531 days. And then we just gave them the baller of balliness yeah, right. digital events. Right. And now literally, what's a PlayStation 5? Yeah, right. What's it? Well, you guys are still fighting over the, the, the <laughs> little squabble when Target releases yeah. three systems at 2 a.m.? That's great. That's great. Well, you know what I'm doing. I'm playing Breath of the Wild 2. I'm playing Metro Prime right. 4. I'm playing right. Odyssey 3. Right. Odyssey 3, right? We'll just Odyssey skip, yeah, we'll we're, skip we're one. Yeah, we're going to skip two. <laughs> we're going to go straight to like, three. That's the biggest announcement there. You know, I, I'm i just... I think it, it's time yeah. to be hyped. I Yeah. I haven't really been hyped. I've been hyped for certain little Nintendo things here and there over the last year. But I haven't really been hyped, maybe since Breath of the Wild 2 dropped mm-hmm. at E3 in 2019. And it's funny because we only really had one major direct since then, mm-hmm. in September. So I, like, do you have any closing predictions, thoughts, opinions on what to expect? Because by the way, yeah. we're live streaming this thing. So we'll be live yeah. reacting and there's going to be a podcast episode coming out later this week. 
probably this weekend. I'm trying to think about the timing of it. Anyways, yeah. we're going to have a guest on and everything. We'll all be talking about all the direct stuff, of course, and any other big news that drops this week. Uh, but I really want to know, like, this is it. This is yeah. what the, like, people on my channel, it's the last thing they potentially are watching before this direct happens. Any closing thoughts for them? Oh, gosh. You know, as someone, you're as casual of a Nintendo fan right. or gaming fan as it comes. Right. But even you, dude, it's a, it's a direct. Yeah, no, no Like, for sure. I'm yeah. there. Like, yeah. guys, he might be at the actual live reaction of it because he's that hyped. Like, and he never gets hyped for video game shit. Unless it's like, but, well, okay. Yeah, but then you get let down. What's the last thing oh, you got hyped for? Remember? What's the last thing you got hyped for? Oh, freaking. Come on, come on. Chris get your gamer credo. Oh, no. No. Yep, yep. No. Yep. I don't want to think about Final it. Fantasy Crystal Chronicles remastered. Fact it up. Yes. He was so Man, hyped for it. I I decided I, we, we, he he wanted to play it. I didn't even own it. I just bought it on a whim digitally to play it with him and it was the maybe the worst spending of money in my entire life Gee, as a gamer and I'm someone up. who bought ET back in the day. So, <laughs> like God. just because there was an expectation based on how good the original was. And mm-hmm. don't get me wrong, some of the qualities are there. Oh yeah. It's they they messed the up the multiplayer, multiplayer which was the primary yes. difference in this game compared to other Final Fantasies and they messed up the core aspect of it. So Anyways. Yes, yes. So, closing thoughts. Mm, closing thoughts. Let me retouch on a couple things. Sure. First. I, I think what would be actually really kind of cool, though, if they do go with Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild 2, or some sort of Legend of Zelda, to tie that into Smash releases, where we get the, uh, the, um, god dang it, what? So we get, like, Mifa and... The four the champions. The four champions. Yep. That's the word I'm looking for. Thank you. Good God. No I problem. Can't. I got you. Got your back. My, my, got your back. My the, brain. My, I had it all in my head. Nintendo my Nintendo knowledge clock went, is. My, my brain went. Dude, dude, my Nintendo knowledge yes. wheels have been just yes. turning like crazy. So. That would be kind of cool to see that kind of kick into, um, into Smash, bring in the four champions, or even tie into. Um, bring the four champions in, and then have the skins of the um, original four mm-hmm. to to tie that in. That would be freaking amazing. As for what I'm expecting, honestly, we've covered most of it. It's it's I'm going in hot, expecting going in hot, going in expecting hot, expecting to get disappointed. Because, but just ready, happens. like ready to but just ready to fly. Out of basically, my chair fall over and jizz all over the ceiling yes, in the middle of the live much. stream. Pretty we're gonna much. need lots of change. We're, you know what? I think we're gonna need to ha- bring a stack of pants. Yes, to get ready to change. We might just just on the off chance it yeah. happens. And you guys know, I'll have the shots of flowing because it's Nintendo Direct time. Yeah. Dude, I've been waiting so long. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna line it up and just get ready for you guys to donate and make me get plastered and have a drunk reaction because I don't care. <laughs> it's time. It's Nintendo Direct oh, time. Thank Lord. you so much for turning through this prelim episode. Technically, like a preamble to episode one of the rebooted Nintendo Prime podcast. Hope you guys like the new logo, by the way. Shout out to the people who made. It. I don't know, I'll put a link down in the description to uh, the company that made this for us. Really great, great logo. Uh, they also made the Nintendo Prime logo you guys have seen on some of the live stream thumbnails. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Nintendo Rubble Jets. This is Eric Moore. And hey, if you're watching this video version, you want the audio, links down in the description. If you want the, if you're watching the audio version or listening to the audio version and you want the video version, what the hell are you doing? Go over to YouTube. No. You know I'm a YouTuber, right? Unless you, I mean, maybe you just randomly found us on like the, the podcast app. If you have, go to youtube.com slash c slash nintendo prime tv oh i can't believe that i still or know that that's the url nintendo prime no i mean i mean but then you might get amazon prime or you might get i don't nintendo know nintendo prime i hope so i can't guarantee it if you search nintendo prime, i can't guarantee it it might bring up the website that's currently down i have no idea it's definitely possible <laughs> you really should pay no. the bill on that i don't know why though like i have no use for the site maybe just to redirect to my youtube channel i don't know anyway thank you guys for tuning in <laughs> We'll catch you guys in the real episode one happening at the end of the week. Peace out. Later.